Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Alhamdulillah, we are still in this wonderful chapter, Surat Al Qalam. And in the last episode, we explained what Allah Almighty started by saying, Noon wal qalami wa ma yasturun. Noon by the pen and what they inscribe. And we explain the noon and how beautifully the scholars spoke about these words. And some of the scholars explain that this noon is also the will that Allah Almighty created, is one of the creation of Allah Almighty. And some of the scholars say that this noon is the one who swallowed Yunus alayhi salam. And many other scholars say that Allah Almighty created at the beginning, before anything else, pen and noon. And noon is the whale. Some of them, they said that noon, it could be something else, or it could be the uh, preserved ta tablet uh, that Allah Almighty is having it in the heaven. So, we have different of opinions and different of explanation of the ulama, but we can make it into two major categories. One from the scholars where they said that these are the letters that Allah Almighty using them as a challenge and as a miracle for the Arabs. So they are speechless. They cannot say anything after hearing these letters, which is Alif, Lam, Mim, Yasin, Hamim, Qaf, Noon, etc., etc. And the other category of the ulama, they said that noon is the whale that Allah Almighty created and this is the biggest whale that Allah Almighty have created. Then Allah Almighty says, وَالْقَلَمِ وَمَا يَسْطُرُونَ By the pen, Allah Almighty is taking oath by the pen. Can you imagine? that Allah Almighty taking oath by the pen. Why? Because it is so important. The pen and what the pen can do and what the pen can or what the pen did with Allah Almighty. It says in the hadith that Allah Almighty when he created the pen, he said to the pen, just write. So the pen reply back to Allah Almighty and he said, what you want me to write? So he said, write ma kana wa ma yakun. That write whatever that it was and what will, will, uh, will happen. Or what it is and what it will happen. So Allah Almighty commanded the pen to write every single thing that will happen in the universe about the people, about the animal, about how many times it will rain, how many times the wind will blow, how many times the, even the trees will move, how many leaves will fall from that tree. Every single detail, Allah Almighty mentioned it. Because as we said in the previous surah, Surah Al-Mulk, Surah Tabarak, that Allah Almighty is having the dominion, بيده mulk. He knows everything, he controls everything. Every single thing is happening in this world is with the ilm, with the knowledge of Allah Almighty. So Allah Almighty here, he commanded the qalam, commanded the pen to write everything. So everything is happening in this world. What had happened, what is happening, and what will happen in the future, everything has written in the preserved tablet. Can you imagine the calculation? Even if you have the biggest computer, if you have the biggest system that you cal calculate and analyze and do whatsoever, that will reach in certain point and it will stop. But imagine that Allah Almighty has written everything, what will happen and what had happened and what will happen, everything is mentioned in the preserved tablet. We inshallah continue more with the depth meaning of this verse and the coming verses, but after the break, so stay with us, insha'Allah. Mm -hmm. 
Dear viewers, welcome back. So, we are still in this wonderful chapter, the chapter of Al-Qalam, the pen, Surah Al-Qalam, and Allah Almighty says, وَالْقَلَمِ وَمَا يَسْطُرُونَ That, by pen, and what they inscribe. So, and as I was telling that Allah Almighty wrote every single thing, the destiny of every single being in this world, Allah Almighty has written that thing in Allah Al-Mahfuz, in the preserved tablet. Then Allah Almighty said what? He said, مَا أَنْتَ بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ بِمَجْنُونَ Allah Almighty talking to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and saying, You are not, O Muhammad, by the favor of your Lord, a madman. Why Allah Almighty telling to Prophet Muhammad that you are not a madman? Because he was living in a time after the prophecy, when he received the prophecy, what happened? He is going to the people and he will say, قُلُوا لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ تُفْلِحُوا Say لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Say there is none worthy of worship except one God and you will be successful. Worship only one God. Don't worship all these idols. Don't worship these stones. Don't worship these, you know, statues. Worship only one God, Allah Almighty. So what the people used to say? Majnoon, Kahan, Sahir. He is a Majnoon. He is a madman. He is a Sahir. He is a magician. He is a crazy person. He is a poet. And they will just say names and that will make Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sad. Because just before the prophecy, people used to call him As-Sadiq Al-Ameen. Everyone used to call him As-Sadiq Al-Ameen, the most trustworthy, the honest man. And just because he became a prophet and he is telling people to say La ilaha illallah, follow the right path, worship Allah Almighty, people are now saying that he is crazy, he is mad, he is majnoon. So Allah Almighty confirming and putting the comfort in his heart by saying, Ma anta bini'mati rabbika bi majnoon. Believe me, O Prophet Muhammad, that you are not insane. You are not madman. By the favor of Allah Almighty on you, you are not a madman. So this is the comfort level that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is getting from Allah Almighty. Not only that, Allah Almighty saying, Wa inna laka la ajran. غَيْرَ مَمْنُونَ Verse number three, Allah Almighty says, وَإِنَّ لَكَ لَأَجْرًا غَيْرَ مَمْنُونَ And indeed, you will have reward unlimited. Countless reward you will get, O Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Why? Because you are on a track. You are on a right path. You are on haq. You are on truth. So it doesn't matter. And this message was from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it's a message for me and you and everyone. If you are on the right path, if you are advising people to do something good, or if you're advising people to do something, to leave some, something bad, to telling them to join good and tell them to forbid evil, and people are returning back to you by saying, you are crazy, leave us alone, it's not your business, just leave us alone, you are crazy, you are this, you are that, you are extreme, and whatsoever they are telling you and you feel bad, get the same Glad tiding from Allah Almighty. وَإِنَّ لَكَ لَأَجْرًا غَيْرَ مَمْنُونَ You will get reward from Allah, countless reward. Unlimited re uh, reward from Allah Almighty that you will get. So never ever lose hope in Allah Almighty. Never ever lose hope in the reward that you will get from Allah Almighty. What is required from me and you? is required that we have to be among those who are always giving da'wah to the others. We are always telling people to do something good. We are always telling people to leave the bad things with hikmah, with wisdom. As Allah Almighty says in some other verse, ud'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah. Call people to Islam. Tell people to join good. Tell people to do good things with hikmah, with wisdom. So always ask Allah Almighty to give you and bless you with wisdom. I ask Allah Almighty to bless me and you and all of us, those who are working in the field of da'wah, those who are working in a field of calling people and advising people to do something good, to bless us with hikmah. Hikmah, the wisdom, is not a book that you will go and take a book. The book name is hikmah book. 
the book of wisdom. And you keep flipping the page of that book and after the, reading the whole book, you will say, okay, now I have all the hikmah, I have all the wisdom with me and you go and deal with people. No, the hikmah comes from Allah Almighty. Allah's names and attribute is Al-Hakim and He gives you that blessings if you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have many things to say, but the time is up. And inshallah ta'ala, we will continue with these wonderful verses from the chapter of Al-Qalam. So stay with us in the next episode. By then, take care of yourself. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.